Hello and welcome to session number 63 of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Hi! Hello! Hi! Hi. Hello! Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you doing this week? I am less tired than last week. Nice. Let's go! Good. I, I appreciate that you've all paused Baldur's Gate 3 to complete this campaign. Uh, no thank problem. you guys. Yeah, pause, sure. <laughs> d turn it off, turn it off. I'm just <laughs> grinding goblins in the background. <laughs> All right, I forget, is it, is it Jory? It is Jory. It is Jory, Jory, it's Jory. It, it's Jory. It's Jory. It's Jory. It's Jory and her yes. tower of dice that has survived Am for I... a really long time ever since Bat has taken a break. <laughs> yeah. I only fell down once, so... Is that zero natural ones? Yeah! Oh my god. I had one, but I think I inspirationed it away. He is the best of us. Just hold on to your inspirations just to stay at zero. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's, it's very unimportant checks. <laughs> it's a power move. <laughs> okay, well then. Um, summary time. I'll let you right. take the lead. So... I'm going to remind everyone that I was incredibly sleep deprived last week. So <laughs> my notes were, um, uh, boy, they were some notes. Um, <laughs> and like, in, in hindsight, I probably should have gone back and rewatched the session, but you know, this nah. game came out last week. So, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of going to get around to it. So, um, I'm going to take you through some highlights of my sleep deprived notes and then my best attempt at translating them into normal speak. Um, so, last time, we, uh, hip sound, found some ingredients for Granny, um, which I did write down as three cent lunch, which I'm pretty sure I meant cat lung, but that's not what it says. Uh, <laughs> six nightshades and six acid dew. Um, and then just some notes that from my god out of it was, Pontifex taking longer than usual cast spells. Pontifex has been working on the grimoire. Pontifex is struggling with healing magic and creating water. Um, Brooke is at foraging. Five days of travel. Hip sleep is restless. A message for him, which I can translate to being approximately after we left the mine. We spent about five days traveling. Things started off rather uneventfully, aside from Pontifex seeming to be a little distracted, including missing some opportunities to be mean to Virian. And Pip had some strange dreams that kind of put him on edge. And after that, I I don't remember why this was contextual, but it was apparently important enough for me to write down. But Tekka learned how to make poison. Uh, somewhere <laughs> in here, Brooke and Varian had a chat about their time fighting in the war, but I did not write anything down because I was too busy having that conversation. <laughs> um, Nui was in a weird mood. Lumi Shadow Horses. Being a friend of Nui, probably Giant Moth. Um, all capital letters, everyone has anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Red Eyes in the Nights from talking to Vina. And everything else is just a string of short phrases with question marks at the end. So, <laughs> Tekka attacked, Pontifex mask, guy with red eyes, can't be sit with Pip Gem, WTF, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. Question mark. <laughs> and just a note that the party needs to start, start warning Virian about people that might want them dead or something. <laughs> and then, can see into dreams, question mark, stone mask gift, question mark. Uh, Joey, Dolphin, Pip, we all go to Dreamland. Kirby is not there. Very <laughs> to dream. Magic Carpet Ride. So, TLDR, we had a werewolf that was part that the party had previously encountered in the context that he had killed their his wolf wife and their children. He was Freddy Kruegering us. Pontifex got body snatched. Now we're going to fight him in the dream world. And that's what happened last time. That's pretty accurate, all things considered. <laughs> yeah, Very good. Yes, I did my best. But we yeah, didn't yeah. kill his children. He just blames that on us. I proxy. <laughs> you only killed his wife. Yeah, she deserved it. He doesn't it. have any reason <laughs> to be upset. Yeah, maybe she was uh, a better wife. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's his choice of wife. <laughs> <laughs> we are being oh my god. Okay. Uh, what do I call this? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, uh, Jory, you may homework. have an exhausted inspiration. Thank you. For that summary. And also, Sid is getting one inspiration for being amazing. Woo! Yay! And also, it was his birthday. Ah. Uh, just maybe. Happy birthday! Thank you so much. Happy you birthday. need it. Oh. <laughs> just what you want to hear. So, um, I suppose I need to take this somewhere, because I have to DM now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, we're going to begin with uh, Brook. Pip, Pekka, and Squeak. Arriving back in the tower where they originally were just minutes ago. Uh, but from the uh, from a different place in some way or another, a place you've visited a bit previously, um, one that you can't quite access and travel through freely. You're back in the realm of dreams, uh, thanks to the help of Nui and of uh, her spirit animal, Vina, who has, whose uh, uh, magical trail has led you straight back to the tower. You essentially crash through the outer wall um, without really slamming against anything solid, landing in the kitchen where you find a scene that is almost exactly what uh, you have left. Um, in, through this realm, the kitchen of the tower looks uh, um, nearly identical. It looks crowded at this moment. You can see um, the man that uh, Pip has been the only one who has been able to see him today, uh, thanks to his uh, gem that allows him to see through dreams. Uh, he has stood up from the corner where he was in earlier, um, and he has shifted back into his, uh, his werewolf form, covered entirely in white fur, his, uh, his claws still red, not because they're made of rubies, but because they're still dripping with Tekka's blood. He has stood up and he has approached some of the people who are here. Yourselves. You see your own bodies slumped against the wall right where you fell asleep. And it's a very, very strange feeling to just watch yourselves laying there motionless, inches away from this werewolf who suddenly looks up as you crush, as you crash into the tower. Uh, and we're gonna roll initiative right away. Oh, big boy! We're gonna need the grid. Squeak is in a cage, yes? Yes. Is initiative an ability check? Yes, yes it is. Got it. Why would you ask such a thing, Dennis? <laughs> oh. What are you doing? <laughs> We're just what are you rolling. plotting? Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand now. <laughs> I would never plot anything against this party. Uh, Jory, I'm going to put your token just like on the table, but off the map. Uh, and you can also roll it. Sounds good. Oh, I never actually set this up. I hadn't realized. Yeah. 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 Whoops, not that. Where are we at? Um. Hey, Phoenix. I was wondering when you'd crash this session.
Oh, right, he loves dice. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love dice too, but <laughs> he loves to knock them on the floor. That's unacceptable. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have a breath attack. <laughs> the werewolf or Phoenix? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> Either would be concerning. <laughs> Let me see where we're at. Do we have everybody? Uh, looks like we do. All oh, right, Virian, starting strong. Okay, <laughs> I'm not there yet. Well then, I well. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh 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 dear. Okay. So I guess I guess this is uh, happening right away. Uh, why don't we do? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, so as Brook, Taka, and Pip land on the floor of the tower and like briefly glance around, getting a feel for the situation, seeing the werewolf in the corner, who was about to... I think Pip was over here. Ah. The, yes, Dennis? I didn't set my initiative. You didn't? Oh. Nope. Choose a straw? Okay, yeah. Go, go, go ahead. Fix it. He will... I did, I did, I did. will update. Okay, there we go. Um... As you arrive and get a feel for the situation and see yours, yourselves sleeping um, scarily close to this werewolf uh, who is surprised by your arrival in this world and he looks up at you, you all make eye contact and then something lands and crashes um, like or crashes onto <laughs> the table, I guess, um, and just <laughs> knocks it uh, uh, against the wall. I'm gonna just take it off. There we go. Including this, so we're gonna free up a little bit of space in, the, in this room. Uh, this large, black, fur-covered creature uh, arrives in <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> uh, it makes a mess of the Phoenix? kitchen. And <laughs> Arizona? <laughs> <this fucking cat. laughs> uh, lands in the middle and immediately leaps onto the werewolf. Uh, all of you have seen uh, this particular creature before. It is a black panther. Oh! Let's go! <clears throat> um, and as this is happening, <laughs> this cat won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> He, he wants says, to be a panther. He keeps stepping on my keyboard. I just can't let <laughs> this happen. Gosh, yeah. he's so cute. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to set a mood here, but it's really hard. <laughs> um, at the same time, uh, more people arrive in this uh, um, in this room that is beginning to feel really small. Um, this bl a blinding light shines directly above your heads, right uh, at the height of the ceiling, as a giant moth just moves right through the ceiling as if it was in entirely incorporeal. Um, riding on it are two people. Nui, who jumps down and Lens here next to Pip. And then a person that at first none of you really recognize. Uh, an individual wearing these gray colored robes uh, with a hood pulled over their head. Viren, that's you. Uh -huh. um, oh no. The kitchen. <laughs> oh no, the kitchen. Be was, here, yeah, was, that's fine. Was there. Uh, so, Mirian, it's your turn. Huh. Right here, right now, you have none of the things you're supposed to have. As you arrive here, and uh, there isn't really a whole lot of time to um, 
really get a good feel for the situation, but you feel you feel light. You feel different, but in a way that's you don't really have the words for it. Uh, kind of like seeing a new color. You wouldn't really be able to describe it to anyone. You're simply perceiving this weird sensation. Like the entirety of your body is lighter, different, but not in an unpleasant way. In fact, it's a way that feels kind of familiar. In some way that you can't quite explain. Uh, looking down, uh, the as you you feel lighter than you should be. Uh, and it's because you don't really see any of your equipment, your armor, your weapons. Uh, but anything you need uh, will find you. So just let me know what you'd like to do on your turn. Uh, um, combat officially begins now. You can't, you can't do that to me. You can't just put pressure on me like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I still think just even going on instinct, Virian's first move in this situation is grab for her rapier and her shield. Okay. Um, um, instinctively, you reach for them where you know your rapier should be by your side, the shield that you usually keep tied to your back. And at first you feel nothing. And you have this brief moment of, uh oh, uh, <laughs> but then you feel something beneath your fingers and you unsheath your weapon. Uh, you produce your shield in the other hand and both of them, you recognize the silhouette, but they don't quite look like they should because they're entirely just white, as if they were made of light, made physical. Uh huh. Yeah. What? We'll come back to this later. Uh, <laughs> we have bigger problems right now. Put a pin on that. Yeah. Put a pin in that. <laughs> um, uh, and she just. I'm gonna purge some this of this thing. stuff back. Yeah. Oh, Knock you. it off the wall. <laughs> she would just yeah charge. Werewolf. Okay. Uh, so you got me all rattled. Yeah. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Back to game. Uh, attacking. Uh, 25, 25 hits. Hit. All right, and attacking it because something else is within five feet that's how that works right I'm, <laughs> yeah you're not really so, sure yeah. where this panther yeah. came from uh this yeah, is but... very much um a plurinan animal you've seen panthers before there's plenty uh in yeah. on the western continent um as opposed to like the the werewolf who has very obviously ladarian traits even in uh, uh even as like a uh, a humanoid-looking wolf, uh, this creature still has Vox. In this case, they're made of, uh, of uh, gemstones, red rubies. Uh, they poke out from his chin, from above his uh, uh, eyebrows, and uh, on his back. There's there's lots and lots on his back, and he just looks like he... Uh, they're, they're very sharp. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, putting a pin in that one, too. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, uh... Uh, 18 damage. 18, and got it. We'll activate the dust blade, so he needs to make a con save. Con save... Hold on, sorry, I still ready now. Hit point, the 18, right? Uh, 16, I, so it. I have 16 written no, down the... for con save. Oh, no, 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 the damage. damage. Uh, okay. 18 damage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have a 24 for Constitution. Okay. Um, hitting him again. Okay. Uh, 21. 21 hits. All right. 
Uh, 10 damage and... Uh... I think I can do the Dust Blade again, right? Yeah. So Probably. Try again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, activate okay. it again. 21. Yeah, still makes it. That's fine. <clears throat> and... Uh, then... Going to bonus action to use the the wolf's blessing to just bamf out and then back into the same place just to get the resistance going. Okay. From the perspective of the rest of the party, uh, Virion arrived wearing these robes, so you've never seen her wear, having no equipment, which just shows up as she reaches for it. Uh, and it looks distinctly different as she attacks uh, um, fearlessly the werewolf. Her hood is pulled back, and uh, you, you see her face, and it's it's Virion. Um, but not a whole lot of this makes much sense. Uh, <laughs> is that the end of your turn? <laughs> yes, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, the werewolf turning to face uh, you and uh, Nui directly behind you. He, he growls and he says, I have no problems with you, but if you side with them, then I will take you down as well. The problem is Virion and Nui neither understand him, <laughs> but the rest of the party does, uh, as he's hmm. speaking in Krell. Uh, his voice comes through clear, a little bit lower, a little bit deeper than, uh, um, than in his uh, uh, Krelko form. Uh, but still pushing through despite like the different shape of his mouth and his fangs. Um, the blood that Virion draws uh, uh, is so vivid and bright on his white fur, and it stains your, your kitchen and has immediately become a mess. Tekka. Uh Yeah, I think Tekka reacting to everything unfolding in the last few seconds will just like mutter under his breath. Good timing. Uh, and then he will point with his quarter staff right towards the werewolf and look into his eyes. I, Tekka, rid the world of your love. For that, no remorse is enough. So, focus your anger to my eyes as he will dash ahead and attack. Okay. So let's start. Tech is uh, so cool. Tech is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> a 15 does not hit. That makes a lot of sense. Let's go for it again. Well, <laughs> <laughs> same. That's, that's great. It's not that you're missing. Um, mm -hmm. This uh, this werewolf is just uh, very tough. The skin uh, his skin seems to be really thick. The fur offers protection, and you're just hitting and hitting. But um, he he's barely feeling it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna spend one key, uh, uh, key point to take the dodge action because uh, it seems like that that might be useful. <laughs> And then we're going to do a flurry of blows, which is uh, two little fist attacks. Bam, bam. <laughs> okay. You know, hey. the, the long range core staff, you know, that's probably what's not working out here. <laughs> get up close. Get up in there. Yeah. Just got to punch him. Mm hmm. Or maybe not. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the dream world? Uh, I don't know. Not for me. Yeah. You ever mm. tried to punch in a dream? <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult. Uh, yeah, a 16 also sense. will not do it. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, you know, I think Tekka's just going to stand around and feel uh, a little self-conscious. <laughs> and that's oh, the end of no. turn. It's a classic. You gave a really good speech and then the dice were like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is a little bit of, um, um, as you said, 
feeling a little bit off, like your your weight isn't quite where you're used to. Something is different when you are uh, currently asleep. Uh, but in addition to that, and in addition to just a werewolf's hide being really tough to break, uh, especially without, like, Viren is cutting him open, uh, you're just striking him, and that seems to work a little less well. Uh, but in addition to all that, you, you do feel the remorse. Uh, you do have just the slightest bit of doubt, the flashes to the one time when you, you had to do what had to be done, but it doesn't mean he felt good or he felt right. Uh, seeing the white fur and the, and the red ruby box, those, those images flash before your eyes and they disrupt your concentration. Um, caged squeak. It's okay, Tega. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. You guys got this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. The werewolf, after addressing Nui and Virion, um, he bears his fangs at Tekka. He makes eye contact as he as he requ requested, <clears throat> and he says. Uh, um, Sorry, my, my brain is slow. Okay, he bares his fangs and he says, I will take you all down, one by one. It's all that matters now. He raises an arm, the claws shining above your head, Tekka, uh, and as he swings downward, he does not strike at you, or at the panther, or at Virion, he draws his own blood from his other arm. For uh, this much damage. Mm -hmm. ah. <clears throat> One drop of blood hits the ground, then a second, and then a third. Where each blood hits the floor, it begins to spread into a large, deep puddle. And the puddle then begins to rise, or rather something rises out of it. Three small, short creatures covered entirely in his own blood. Ah, they join the battle. They look... Oh god. They look like small humanoid people. They have Vox, uh, much like he does. Uh, their clothes, their skin, everything <laughs> is just entirely red, just dripping with blood, and they, they all wield these uh, um, like sickle-like weapons. They grin at all of you, and uh, uh, they join initiative. Like this. And, um, as for the werewolf, mm -mm -mm. something about his appearance changes. It's something that's difficult to quite put your finger on, but it feels like like, you're seeing through him ever so slightly. Ah. Uh, and he moves away from Tech and from Virion, and he said he seems to focus on the sleeping body of Pip that is right beside him. Ah. Uh, for now, the werewolf cannot be targeted as he is back on the, in the world of the waking. It's your turn. Um, is he going? Is he going after my body? Wait, can you wake me up? <laughs> wake me up! <laughs> <laughs> Pinches himself. <laughs> You're pinching yourself. Yeah. Okay. You wake up. 
cool. Squeak is uh uh uh, uh I'm just trying to pick up Squeak <laughs> feeling. Yeah. Is he locked? Why can't I lift him? He he's difficult sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. He doesn't he doesn't want to hey, leave. Hey, <laughs> Okay. Pip, I'm going to place you like here. You're kind of like sitting up against this counter. Um Ooh, small problem. I can't make your minis partially transparent because of how your models work. I'm going to change your color. I make you blue. Is that okay? So we know. Uh, that okay. is very blue. I am blip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that did not take an action or anything. Cool. Uh, and the werewolf is like lunging towards my my body yeah, as I'm waking like, up. Uh, since I put you there, uh, 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 he can step onto here. But he was definitely like, yeah, looking that way. You could tell he was about to start heading in that direction. Okay. Uh, as his claw is reaching down towards <laughs> Pip, Pip kind of just like opens one eye and lets him touch Pip. And Pip reaches up with both arms and says, I told you, if you tried to hurt us, I'd take everything from you. And then casts Remove Curse. Okay. I'm bringing up the spell. Yeah. Ah, uh, ooh, okay. That's cool. So, you do that. Uh, <laughs> he seem like his eyes widen for a moment as you open yours and you grab his claws uh, just fearlessly your magic shines uh, th out of your hands and it begins to envelop the werewolf uh pip roll an arcana check okay come on okay i'm not good at arcana <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. Uh, and this. Okay. So, um, as you touch him, you you have you have come a long way from your first encounter with this man. Your magic has grown far stronger, and so has your understanding of it. Uh, at the moment when you two make physical contact, you can feel the magic that flows through his form. There's different kinds of it. Um, as your magic is beginning to envelop him and he grits his teeth, he's not sure what's going on that's that's obvious from his expression and then you see this other glow one that isn't your own it comes from somewhere around the, his neck and through the white fur you see something small that glows and um um it glows with its own uh light Phoenix. <laughs> um a greenish color, uh, but it becomes brighter and brighter as your magic seems to feed into it. Um, you see that he's wearing a pendant that seems to be made of wood, uh, like small twisted branches all braided together, and they're holding three very, very tiny gems in place. One of them, one of these three gems, pulls your magic into it, and is now uh, glowing. It keeps glowing. Uh, <clears throat> so your spell is absorbed into it. Uh, but since you rolled high enough, the magic that just interfered with yours, it's magic that you know very, very well. It's the magic of the witches. Uh-oh. As nothing essentially seems to happen from your spell, the werewolf just bears his fangs at you and says, I have already given up everything I had left. There is nothing for you to take anymore.
Let's see about that. Pip just extends an arm outwards as fast as possible and tries to push him back five feet. He needs to make a strength save. You know, he's really good at strength saves, but... <laughs> mm, 13? Uh... Oh, well, let me check. I wasn't expecting this to work. <laughs> <laughs> um, me uh, neither. <laughs> Hold on, one moment. Uh, yeah, that fails. Yeah. Okay, uh, how far back is he supposed to be pushed? Five feet. Okay, um, let's see, he's over here. Yeah. Uh, everybody would see this interaction, but you would not... <laughs> no, I take it back. You would be able to hear them as well. So you saw the Pip walk up, they interacted, um... Whatever Pip tried to do didn't seem to work. Uh, and then his magic just pushes back this creature that is like three times Pip's height. Now, I made the assumption that speaking through Squeak between realms worked, but that might not work. <laughs> uh, anyway. Pip's oh, God. Going oh, to... Wait, hold on. That's right. Let me, let me, let me wrap my head around it. Uh, um, you can... No, it works. Okay. Great. So, no no retroactive non-speaking right. things. Uh, Pip hides under this table. <laughs> okay, just put your... I was going to say on top of it. We'll know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, in the realm of uh, the... of the dreams... <clears throat> These little blood-covered creatures are gonna get to work. Let's see. Um, oh, you know, sorry. Which one is number one? Oh yeah, no, it is the correct one. Um, this is, this is gonna stop Taka. Okay. Uh, yeah, dodging, so disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Natural one. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, Twelve. Twelve does nothing. And 12 again. Ish. Nope. But that was a painful disadvantage. Uh, okay. Uh, okay <coughs> with the with the werewolf gone from at least the place where you are at, um, you can focus your attention entirely on these little... <laughs> these little guys. Um, <laughs> oh, and, no. Uh, you just... You jump over its weapon and then you kick him back and he's thrown off balance. He charges back at you and you're just holding my bay with your with your staff, just holding him back so he can't reach you. Uh, he's very much struggling uh, to get to you, uh, but he seems he seems set on on killing you. You can see that gleam in his eyes. Um, the blood entirely covers him. Seems to be not enough for him. He wants more. Rook. Hmm. First off, upon seeing the panther, he seems surprised but happy. Then seeing the werewolf dip again with Pip. He sings and also pinches himself to wake up. Okay. Uh, you wake up, you were, let's say, over here. I don't actually recall, but... Um... You wake up, you're sitting down. <clears throat> you see Pip just scurrying under this table over here. And uh, the white werewolf is uh, on the other side of the room. Okay, I'm not sure how we'll do it movement-wise. But I would like to go in front of him. Mm -hmm. um, you step forward and then through. None of these creatures are in your way. Yeah, I can only go 15 <clears throat> feet. Oh, that's right. That's right, that's right. Sorry. Uh, but you can stand where Tekka is. Yeah. <laughs> Even if he looks that's... silly. <laughs> it doesn't look silly. All right. <clears throat> I will start attacking the wolf. <clears throat> I think first as a bonus action... I would like to activate a Crimson Ride 
of Sedan. <clears throat> That's 1d6 damage. When the werewolf drew his own blood, you were like, I can do that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> the only how one who's done. supposed to do it. Yeah, I'll show Ooh. you. I'm showing you. So the weapon lights up. Oop. Wrong direction. <laughs> and then I have to see if my first tech hits. Um, <clears throat> I don't think you're supposed to have advantage on attack rolls. Oh, nice. You have that two points of exhaustion, do. right? Yes. I believe that on two. It oh, yeah, it says. Your okay, okay, okay. Then it's uh, 24. So exactly 24 hits. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thirteen damage. Thirteen. Then another attack. <coughs> Sixteen. Sixteen does not hit. Okay. So that's my turn then. <clears throat> okay. That brings us to the panther. Uh, who is going to attempt to bite uh, this, this one over here? Um, where did I put the panther? There it is. This was not the most best way to do this, but um, those of you who are in the realm of dreams would see the panther uh, biting onto the head of this small humanoid. Um, it seems to have just bitten into the hat, <clears throat> but as it does like the dog thing where like it picks up the thing that it's biting and shakes, uh, the entire creature is lifted up. It's not really a hat. It's part of his head, and it's bleeding through it as the pan panther bites down. Uh, and then it gets like tossed against the wall and drops down and hops back where it was before. Um, panther only has one attack. <clears throat> so we move on to this one back here. <clears throat> uh, the scamper is over here. Um... It's going to attack. Let's just uh, pick one. Even, odd, even. That's Virion. Uh, with flanking. <laughs> Jesus. Um, 15 to hit. Does 15 hit? No. no. Marvelous. Misses. One of these eventually will land a hit. Um, you, you'd think so. Let's see. We, I have two more. <laughs> Come on. Okay. This looks promising. 24. I guess. Hey! One attack! <clears throat> Five points of slashing damage. So two, because I'm resisting uh, everything, you know? It, it essentially lowers the blade onto your toes. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're bleeding from a foot, but it's really not that bad. It's like... I don't know what comparison I was going for. Uh, 18 to hit. <laughs> It's in hits. <clears throat> okay. Eight points of slashing damage. And that's the third uh, uh, attack. Two success. One failure. Uh, it, it's, it's cackling in this absolutely mad manner uh, as it uh, slashes and slashes at you. Uh, draws blood twice. Uh, um, and just keeps on going. It seems to have like, just this infinite well of stamina. Um, it, it's very much set on uh, on cutting you into tiny, tiny little pieces. Um, <clears throat> Nui is not a warrior. He disengages and like climbs onto the barrel. 
Perfect. <laughs> Kick me towards him. Kick me towards him, Louie. Kick me. Kick me. <laughs> Kick me now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, you can't understand me, damn it! <laughs> uh, squeak speaks. No. Squeak. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Then it's not Krell. It's different. Harl is uh. a pantomiming abilities. <laughs> he starts kicking the air and pointing at himself. So, yeah, Squeak is like waving his arms to try to get her attention and doing a kicking motion. She's she's too focused on getting on this barrel to even notice ah. that Squeak is doing anything. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it up to her. Like, I'll, I'll do a perception. No, she doesn't. She does not. <laughs> um. That brings us back to Vir Virion. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, so I think first things first, she kind of looks around and assesses the situation. That Brook and Pip are no longer on the dream re realm. The mm -hmm. world is not, not here. Um, but I think she'll look at Tekka and just... We need to stay here. Uh, he's going to be back. He can change realms, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, if he comes back and we can't get back here, we are in big trouble. Um, we fight better together. Stay with me. And she doesn't seem to do anything, but as she kind of like levels her shield between Tekka and these red caps, uh, like shimmering lights going to surround him and she casts Shield of Faith on him. <gasps> okay. Uh, remind me, what is that? Plus two to armor class? Yeah, plus two to armor class. Okay, Sid, keep that in mind. Will do. Thank you. And then she will just lay into this one right here. Okay. Attack. Number three. Number three. The one I just Recognize. attacked you. What? It, it, the one I just attacked you. Yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Nope. And we'll try again. Much better. Yep. Oh, I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's number three. Four. Fifteen. Fifteen damage. You show him how it's done. The first strike, he intercepted. He he intercepts it with his own blade, but on the second one, uh, you're faster, you're taller. You drive it again through the hat. For a moment, it seems like a miss, but then he he's bleeding through it, and he lets out this really high pitched uh, scream that shakes the kitchen. <clears throat> Anything else? That's it. Brings us to Taka. Uh, yeah, then uh, Tekka is going to shift over here. Sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I see him falling back into the dream realm. <laughs> Tekka, to you, um, this was really weird. Brook seemed to step where you were standing, and the two of you were making no physical contact. Uh, Brook, you, from the waking world, can't see the dream world, so he didn't even know that Tekka was there. Like, he knew he was around there. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Tekka uh, is gonna bring out his iron uh, pot and just say, shut it! And he's gonna essentially try to grapple this red cap with the iron pot. Like, to try to, yeah, contain it within the iron pot. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a grapple check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to use athletics. I get to pick. Oh, wrong set block. Uh, what do they have? Oh. Okay. Oh, Ooh. tech, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I was going to say, <laughs> these, these men, for how small they are, they have incredible strength. Um... And so you, you reach for him, and he's a lot heavier than you expected. Um, he And, like, he, he fights back with a strength you would not have guessed from someone like him. Uh, but uh, um, perhaps it's the fact that you're really, like, you, you approached this from behind. Uh, you actually have no trouble. 
Nice. What's next? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Do I say anything else? Uh, like while Tech is grappling, could he still dodge, or no? He, he can. Okay, then yeah, taking dodge as a bonus action, uh, and I think that will be the end of the turn. Okay, Squeak, the unkicked one. Uh, <laughs> all right, fine, I'll do it from here. Pew, pew. <laughs> and he launches magic missiles from his his uh, mecha suit, mm -hmm. uh, one to each red cap. Uh, at least Squeak is uh, uh, happy to see that like the, the suit came with him um, and works just as well in this realm as it does in the other one. Um, which targets did you say? Uh, all all one of each? them. One oh, each. and they're all the same. So, okay. Yeah, they take so it's... four each. Four each. Got it. Anything else from Squeak? Nope. Okay, then it brings us to this one. Um, he's, he's flanking Virion. Um, he'll just go for her. Mm. Let's see. Um, there's a 23. Yep. Five slashing damage. 18 to hit? 18 hits. 9 slashing damage? And 13 to hit. 13 misses. Okay. And that is its turn. Um, Werewolf time. Oh, Let's see. Feel the faith is gone. What? Oh no! It was brief but intense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh... <clears throat> okay. Then uh, the werewolf is going to attack Brooke um, okay. as he begins to claw and bite at you. Um, well, Before you roll. I, yeah. Can I use a Blood Melodict and cast Blood Curse of the Eyeless? Oh, you can. That? Cool, cool, cool. Heck yeah, Brooke. Heck yeah. I'm not getting scratched. I'm not turning into a werewolf. It is not a spell. Uh... Oh. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't stop it. <laughs> Eh, eh, eh. All right. Um, so the okay. the werewolf looking at you, Brookie. He, he he says, uh, <clears throat> he says, I don't know how you managed to learn my tongue so quickly, but I also have a few new tricks up my sleeve. He lunges at you, and Brook, you show him your new trick. Um, yeah. He's uh, your your eyes are currently bloodshot from the lack of sleep, and his eyes become much like yours. <laughs> um, he has red eyes to begin with. I suppose the difference isn't that obvious, but he begins to bleed uh, out of his eyes. Uh, and he, he grunts in pain, but he still lunges at you with everything he's got. Uh, so he has disadvantage, is that right? Yeah, no, no, no. Every roll, I. Oh, right, you remove it. And subtract mm -hmm. it. Okay. So it's a straight roll. Natural one. <laughs> Minus two. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the the blood pooling out of his eyes he immediately just throws him off. He lunges at you, ends up like behind you from having completely missed you from with his bite. Uh, he he grunts again. He turns around and leaps against you again. Um, that uh, do I tell the result? Well, just roll it. Ooh. Minus four. That is a 17 to hit. That does not hit. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Um, 
both his fangs and his claws do not find his target. Um, he frustrated, he shakes his head, the blood just uh, being thrown in every direction, uh, grunts again and disappears from your sight. Oh, uh, for those of you who <laughs> are sleeping, he is back in the realm of the dreaming. Ah, uh, Pip. All right, uh, Pip's going to come out from under the shelf <laughs> and, <laughs> and come back over here to Brooke and is going to say, Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, can I? You're both, I can, yeah, you're right? both awake. Okay. Oh, but he can't talk. Oh, no, wait, no, Squeak hold on. Squeak is... Uh, bzz, uh, Brooke does not. Okay. Brooke does not hear Squeak. Okay, scrap <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> my brain, my brain. <laughs> um, Pip is going to hand him the potion of growth and as an action uh, is going to make an eerie token like uh, pull some of his own hair out slap it in Brooke's hand along with the potion and just say Brooke drink this next time he shows up we need to get that collar off of him okay alright I will do that I will Let's get go. a oh Slide back over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Back uh, in the sleeping realm. Uh, it's going to attack the panther. How oh dare. Advantage, that's one hit. That's two hits. Three hits. Uh, for this much damage. Okay. Those of you who are asleep can see just uh, this uh, small creature. Uh, attacking the panther over and over and over. Who uh, it doesn't seem to have anywhere near the the thick hide that a werewolf does. Uh, blood is drawn. It's splattered on your beautiful kitchen floor. Uh, <laughs> the panther just um, words. I don't remember words. Uh, it grits its teeth uh, and just pushes through it uh, and keeps on fighting. Uh, Brooke, you have been given a token, which allowed you to hear Pip's voice, and a potion. <clears throat> okay, Pip. Do I wait, or do I try to go after him? What, can you fall asleep instantly? No, but I haven't tried this yet, and I might be able to get into the dream world. What are you talking about? Well, the only problem with that is that I wouldn't be back for a little while. Um, so, man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I did not expect him to disappear immediately again. You know what? I'll just hope he comes back up. I'll hold my attack action. Or actually, no, I hold my action to drink that potion when he comes back. Okay. If that's okay. Mm hmm. Anything as a bonus action? Uh, no. Then it's Panther time. Um, who's going to turn back and attack the. Attack the creature that has been attacking it. I'm gonna do one bite. Oops, it's not an advantage, it's just this one die. Still a hit. Uh, 
Which number is this? One. Okay, math has been done. Next, it's this one. Um. Mm, 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 mm. That's a lot of opportunity attacks. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, it's just going to attack Vera, and that's the best thing it can do. Um, instead of attacking uh, with its sickle, it's going to kick you, Virion. Uh, I need you to what roll asshole. a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Uh, 12 is a failure. Uh, it kicks you um, at the, around the knee height. Uh, you're knocked prone by this. Uh, and it's, it's, it's horribly painful. Uh, take... 25 points of bludgeoning damage. As I said, uh, you're you're knocked prone. Uh, Nui up on this barrel um, is going to say something that you don't understand, but it sounds encouraging. <laughs> um, <laughs> Viren, you regain five hit points. <laughs> Gee, thanks. And then it's your turn. Okay. Some of these foreign languages are just beautiful to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back up. <laughs> um, question. Mm -hmm. So for... Do, 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 uh, study aim. The stipulations for that are I can't have moved during the turn, I can't move after I use it. The standing up count for that. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. Okay, so I can still steady aim if I want to. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she'll stand up and kind of, you know, shake herself off a little bit, get her head back in the game, and then just really focus in and, yeah, bonus action, steady aim, going to hit the number two up here. Okay. So that's with advantage, and I'm an elf. And I'm an elf. I'm an elf. It's throwing important. it out there. Yes, yeah, throwing it out there so I get to crit fish. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a crit, I don't know. It's not, but that's okay. Okay. 23 hits. But, okay, still going to uh, sneak attack that one. Mm -hmm. So for 15 damage. Got it. How's it looking? Um, it's still energetic, uh, but the the blood you have spilled it seems to be a lot for the size of someone like him, and it's a little difficult to tell which blood you have drawn from a wound and which blood is just covering him to begin with, uh, gotcha. but you have inflated a, a serious wound for sure. Okay. Uh, similarly with number three down here, same sort of situation, it's hard to tell. How hard yeah. it is? Okay. <laughs> but funnily enough, I can tell they are exactly the same amount of hurt. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, in that case, she'll turn around and then just like on the backswing, hit the one that Tekka is grappling. 
Okay. Mm hmm. That would be a hit. Yeah. Still got crit fish. Not a crit. Not a crit. Still a hit. Yeah, that's fine. For 10 damage. You no longer have the same amount of uh, health. Ah, it was so Good. satisfying. Yeah, but yeah. too bad. That's my turn. Uh, Pekka, you're seeing Virion, this, this strange gray version of Virion with weapons of light, uh, fighting with, uh, uh, fighting fiercely. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, Tekka having, like, trapped this under the Iron Pod, it's now going to reinforce that with the Rain Catcher to, like, fully enclose and incap incapacitate it. Like, it's just going to be trapped <laughs> inside this pod. <laughs> okay. Put a lid on it and call it dinner. Bye-bye. You, 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 you have gift wrapped, <laughs> this little man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna call him restrained from now on. All right. Anything else? Um, I am going to bonus action dodge again because uh, spooky things happening around here. Uh, we'll be back. Okay. Uh, Tekka, the, the, um, also, the werewolf is back right next to you. Um, mm -hmm. You just see this like shadow looming over you uh, as he reappears just out of thin air from your perspective. Well, kind of. You, you could see him there, but now you see him with greater clarity. He's back where you are. Uh, squeak. Caged squeak. All right. So, hear me out. Um, <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> is this the shape of the cage? Yes. I pictured it as like a bird cage kind of thing. Queek is going to try and knock it over and and roll <laughs> and roll through with the cage <laughs> to get over here. <laughs> you know what? Come on. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that he can do that. He just and you know moving like that it just takes. Uh, Twice as much movement. Okay, like a sad little hamster, yeah. a very angry hamster, <laughs> coming over here. An angry, spicy uh, hamster. Bumps up against this guy. Mm-hmm. Who just like feels something hitting his like massive iron boots and just like looks down. Now, when Pip is not in the same plane of existence, can Squeak act on his own? Yes. Yes, you can. Then Squeak will uh, squeeze his little stinger through the bars of the cage and try and sting this guy. <laughs> he has to, like, push his butt <laughs> up against the bars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> Let's give this a shot. That's a uh, 17 to hit. 17 hits. All right. <laughs> uh, it needs to make a constitution saving throw also. And that's five points of piercing damage. Constitution, six. It fails. Takes 3d6 poison damage. Mm -hmm. Or eight. Does not resist it. Okay. Um, yeah, come at me. It doesn't... Uh, Look particularly badass, but it gets the job done. <laughs> uh. Slides back in, in into his little shell. <laughs> okay, uh, that brings us to this one. That's number two. Mm. Just gonna roll for it. Ah. Uh, uh. Even odd. Odd is the panther. Still flanking. Two. 
on the first attack, just to put it out there, since I can't do it anywhere else. I'm going to protection the first one. Ooh, okay. Well, what is that? Uh, what does disadvantage. That mean? Disadvantage, okay. On the, on, um, just on the first attack. Makes it a miss. Second one remains a hit, which is this much damage. Um, and then a third one. Okay, those of you who are asleep, um, see that the panther has gotten heavily injured and is struggling to remain standing. Uh, Brooke, where you are, you get the strange feeling of cold just washing over you. This feeling of emptiness, this void that is expanding within you, it's kind of painful, but mainly it's an emotional kind of feeling. Uh, meanwhile... Someone help. <laughs> we have a werewolf who is standing right next to Tekka. Uh, and we're just going to go for Tekka's throat. He's dodging, right? Yep. Okay. Claw attack at disadvantage. Bombs. A 19. Okay, still hits. Uh, said claw. That's 15 points of slashing damage. Um, Brook is not here. Oh, okay, it's gonna also bite you. Uh, mm -hmm. Still at disadvantage. Lowest one is a 19 again. Well, okay. <laughs> oh. Plus this. That is 18 points of uh, piercing damage. Ouch. Uh, as the werewolf appears uh, next to you, uh, wastes no time to sink his claws and fangs into your flesh. Uh, and whenever it lands a hit, uh, an attack, uh, it pulls back. It, it, uh, um, it, it pulls with its claws downward to make the wound as wide and as long as possible. Um, when it bites on you, he, he, he shakes his head and throws you against the wall. Uh, he is trying to kill you, there is no doubt in your mind. Uh, and he's trying to get that done quickly. Uh, and then... Mm, mm, he's going to stay here. Actually, let me leave it up to Oro. He's going to remain in this realm. Ah. And... Let me see. Uh, Tech, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Can do. As the werewolf still biting down on one of your arms and just... Um, holding you against the wall of the kitchen. Uh, Eleven is a failure. Um, he, he growls, he makes eye contact with you. You feel this chill go down your spine. Uh, and I'm going to take three points of psychic damage. Um, keep this in mind, write it down somewhere. The next time you do an attack, uh, just your next attack is going to be a disadvantage. Got it. Just one if you have multiple. Well, you do have multiple. No, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Pip. 
Okay. You are awake, so you're not seeing what the werewolf is up to or any of uh, uh, any of the stuff that's going on. It's just you and Brooke. Right. Uh, Jim's or uh, Pip's gonna hold up the gem of seeing and expend another charge to keep looking through it, unless it's already active still. It lasts uh, ten minutes. It, yeah, it isn't. It's been okay. It's been longer than ten minutes. Um, this is the most radical change that you've ever seen through the gem. Usually you see small differences here and there. Uh, when uh, uh, Earlier today when the werewolf showed up, it was just him that was the only thing different. Uh, but right now, this kitchen is almost empty. Normally when you look through the gem, suddenly there is all these people. The panther is still there. You see the werewolf fighting Tekka and biting him and clawing at him. Uh, Virion being surrounded by these small blood-covered creatures. Uh, Nui just trying to keep out of the fight, and you see Squeak bravely uh, rolling around <laughs> in his cage and managing to sting one of these creatures. Uh, Brooke, here you would hear in your mind, Brooke, they're not looking too good over there. If you can go, just go. They need you. Um... Oh. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I think Pip's just going to stay put and and wait and watch for something to happen on his side. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one is going to attempt to just stab through the bars of Squeak's cage. Does a 16 hit, Squeak? That does hit. Damage with the blade. Uh, whoops, wrong dice. That's why we're in the wrong place. Uh, is 9 slashing. Is it magical? Um... It's not. Okay. Four. Uh, whoops. Not at, uh, not at advantage. Uh, 12, 17 to hit on the next one. It hits. It's 12 slashing damage. Uh, would you halve Four. to six? Six. Yep. And then the third attack is a 19 to hit. That hits. <laughs> Ooh. 14 slashing damage. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Out the two seven. Uh huh. <laughs> Sweet <Sweet> now. <laughs> is he gone? Okay, I'm no. done being brave, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I thought it was gonna die. Uh, Brooke. <clears throat> Does drinking the potion count as an action? Uh, I've always done it as an action. Okay. 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 You know what? Let's see if this works first. I would like to use as a walk and see if I can go down. So are you going sure to do you're going to do what? The other walk thing. Okay. I'm not sure if it brings me there, but let's hope. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Brooke, you need to do something. Um and You've had right. this feeling within you that <laughs> uh, oh. that you you might have some abilities that you've never quite tried out, but you feel that they are right there, as if they're right uh, uh, within your grasp, up at the edge of your fingertips. Um, you focus on that version of the kitchen you were in mere moments ago. Um, you don't really know how to get there without first falling asleep. Uh, but as you're as you're refocusing your mind, you feel you feel something 
tugging at uh, your clothes. You're being pulled somewhere by someone. And quickly within your vision, uh, the dream world version of the kitchen comes into focus. The werewolf being back right in front of you, these small blood covered creatures being everywhere. And the one pulling you into this dream is the panther who has bitten onto your clothes and sort of pulled you here. Uh, you're back in a dream world. Uh, for Pip, Brooke has not left behind a sleeping body. So Pip only sees himself Whoa. and sleeping Tekka. No one else is here otherwise. Okay, okay. So I was supposed to get the collar off him, right? Here you go. Uh, yes, that's that's what Pip said. <laughs> Uh, like looking, you can see it's on a color like he has necklace with an amulet on yeah. it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, but is that like a necklace? I can, if I hit like with a sword on it, try to uh, take the bracelet, cut it in two. Uh, you can try. If off? you right. hit, if you land a critical hit, you can uh, cut off uh, the necklace. If I land a critical hit? Mm hmm. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> 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 like, oh, let me take out my instant critical hit feature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's try. Oh wow, it takes no action to do the end. <laughs> Are you Dennis? Love this game so much. <laughs> I'm surely adding that one to the counter. Winter's immediately regretting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll your damage. Oh. <laughs> Only crit you said, huh? <laughs> 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 Ooh. He takes that. All right. That's okay. Damage. Um, is that including the the the? But oh, you're missing some dice. Right, because you're also doing you're you're doing extra damage from the radiance, right? Yeah, that's uh, the first one is one d six. The second one is one d eight from my normal attack, and then the right. plus seven. But you roll both dice again because it's a critical. Oh, of course. <laughs> I know how this works. <laughs> See, it's thirteen plus right. seven for a little twenty. Okay. Uh, so, aiming for the necklace means you're aiming for the neck. Uh, when your blade makes contact, you know that this is a wound that honestly would kill most creatures instantaneously. Uh, your blade doesn't decapitate the werewolf, but it does cut through uh, what you figure is probably a very important uh, uh, artery. Uh, blood spills everywhere, just it, it, it gushes out uh, against the walls. The werewolf howls and there's this uh, clinging of something wooden hitting the wooden floor. The um, it's for your first time taking a good look at it, but this uh, uh, this amulet that he was wearing around his neck uh, is made of wood of twisted branches braided together into this somewhat circular shape and holding three gemstones in place, one of which is glowing. So it's on the ground, right? Hmm. I do have a second attack. Okay. Can I can I just hit the red gemstone? Yeah. Yeah, you can. You can stab through the amulet. Okay. Fifteen hits. 
you don't even have to roll the damage. You okay. break uh, you break the second gemstone, one of the ones that wasn't glowing. Oh. Uh, the werewolf, howling in pain, uh, he holds a hand up against his bleeding neck and looks down at what you're doing, and uh, his eyes are wide in shock. Um, <clears throat> he's like, you know, it's all happening at once. He's reaching for it, trying to get it back. Meanwhile, you're you're stabbing through it, and it kind of slides away with the motion. Um, uh, do, do you have anything else in your turn? I don't think so. Okay. Amazing. But I will say to the rest, or probably to Tekka since he's right around it, keep the necklace from him. That was lucky. <laughs> I'm just yes. of the day. <laughs> For the rest of you, you don't quite know how. You saw how both Pip and Brooke left. You saw them pinching themselves, uh, Pip going, ow, um, and disappearing. Uh, and then you could see their bodies in the waking world waking up. Um, and standing up and fighting, but you're uh, for how Brooke came back here to join you, Virion and Taka. Uh, that part is a little uh, unclear. Uh, but boy, has he, <laughs> he he comes back and he uh, cuts this necklace off of the werewolf's neck and he begins stabbing at it. You don't really know the the uh, the meaning of it, but he makes it clear that it's important that uh, uh, you make sure that this thing doesn't get back uh, in the werewolf's uh, claws. Uh, the panther uh, is going to assist Squeak in uh, taking down uh, this creature. Um, this. Believe it or not, but I just rolled a natural 20 for the panther as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tear off Let's its go. necklace. <laughs> they, are, they are in sync. <laughs> we sure are. Amazing. This is number one. Uh, so that makes it... Uh, uh, math. What are their hit points? That is enough to kill it. Um, weakened by Squeak's poison and then bitten in the neck by the fangs of this panther, uh, this little humanoid turns back into a puddle of blood. Uh, uh, the panther can't move, it's engaged in both. Uh, this is restrained. No, it's fine. It's gonna stay right where it is. Uh, this is restrained. Uh, it's gonna try to break free. Let's let's make it a contested con contested grapple. Um, break free from Taka's thing. Um, so Taka, you roll athletics. Okay. You have to beat a 15. Nope. Which you almost do. Um, since it took you like two turns to get it restrained, um, it's not going to use the rest of its turn to do the remaining attacks. It just, like, it takes the whole action to break free. Mm -hmm. Um, But you're, you're thrown off by the werewolf suddenly coming back and attacking you. And when you see that the, uh, this small blood-covered humanoid is... Uh, uh, trying to be creative. There isn't really a whole lot you can do. Uh, meanwhile, how many does do we have? Okay. Uh, Tekka, you heal six hit points. Um, Nui says something, and you don't really know what she says, but you do hear her say the word Tekka, uh, and uh, whatever she said, uh, um, has managed to close, uh, at least stop the bleeding on your worst wounds. Uh, Virion, it's your go. Uh, Okie dokie, so uh, seeing this werewolf come back, uh, Virion just 
ducks and looks like she's about to charge away, but when she does, she sort of just, like, steps into... Honestly, probably light at this point, not quite shadow, just because of the current situation, and just reappears over here as she uses the wolf's blessing again. Okay. Wolf versus werewolf. Yes. And she just comes out, just weapon ready, and just drives it into the werewolf. Unless I roll really badly three times in a row. Giga advantage. <laughs> uh oh. I'm an elf. I'm an elf. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm an elf. By the way, I'm an elf. <laughs> 19 hits. All right. Be an elf. Be an elf. I was going to normal attack that one. Eight damage. Okay. And we are going to expend the dust blade on it again. So another con save. 16. Easy. Okay. It's a 21. Okay, makes it. Um, then we are going to hit it a second time. Eighteen would hit. Go ahead and crit fish. Right. Four several. Nope. Okay. Still an eighteen. That's okay. It's confirming it. Yep. From the hit. Four. Fifteen damage. Okay. While the werewolf still seems to have a lot of fight left in him, um, his fur is just covered in blood. Uh, your your blade and Brooks have left so many cuts in him, uh, deep and uh, very. <laughs> My brain is slow today. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You have left long, wide gashes in his uh, in his hide. Uh, and he's struggling to just stand upright. Uh, he's he, he at some point uh, uh, his eyes were bleeding because of Brook's curse. Uh, he has he's he wipes the blood off of his face and it seems to refocus. Uh, and his attention is snapping back to the amulet on the ground. Uh, is that it from Virion? That is it. Eka. Okay, yeah. Tekka's definitely going to go for that pendant, making sure it doesn't fall back into the wrong claws. Um, so I think he is going to activate Step of the Wind. Uh, and then, yeah, grab that pendant. Is that like a roll, or does Tekka kind of take a just grab it, or what are we doing? You can just pick it up. It's okay. an object interaction. All right. It doesn't take up your action or anything. Yeah. Yeah. And then Tekka is just going to disengage and then dash. Fuck. All right. Bye bye. You're playing keep away. Mm hmm. <laughs> and, um,. Yeah, can't do more than that, sadly. So let's hope it doesn't turn too terribly. End of turn. Hey, squeak. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. <laughs> Thinking. And Squeak just go <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna attack this one. Hero, Squeak is a hero we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, yeah, like he he can't manage to quite reach the food from here. The the floor planks are a little uneven. There's like a bit of space between them, and the cage ends up like getting stuck in between two floorboards. And it's quick and can't manage to push it forward just enough to actually get to him. And he's trying to push his butt through the bars, and like he's inches <laughs> away from stinging him. As as this one's just like 
<laughs> slow, <laughs> slow turn. He goes, hey, 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 and then pinches himself. <laughs> <laughs> Right away. <laughs> okay, yeah, Squeak is uh, is Squeak is awake. Wherever it was originally, which was right over here, right? Yeah. Hit if I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> He's already blue. Yeah. Don't even have to change his color. Okay. Alright. Uh Hmm. These boys have no idea about the amulet. They are just out for blood. Uh, closest one. It is number two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, closest one is a panther. It's no longer flanked. Natural two is a miss. It's second natural two. That's far better. That's a hit. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it got distracted by Squeak for sure. <laughs> but then manages to cut down the panther. Mm. Uh, Brooke, you're, you're very much focused on the werewolf and on the pendant. You see Tekka pick up, pick up the amulet and run off and you follow him with your gaze. Uh, and that brings you to like turn around right at a moment uh, when this small blood covered creature manages to cut the head of the panther. Off? Yeah. Uh, it steps on the panther's blood and uh, um, moves over here, coming after you. Uh, the werewolf is kind of boxed in. But let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, 30, 35, 40? What's its uh, movement speed? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the werewolf is going to just ignore Virion, ignore Brook, and just make a dash for his amulet. So, first, he's leaving Virion's reach, and yes, then he's. And I will. Yours. We'll try to hit him. <clears throat> mm. Uh, what number am I rolling? A plus seven. Nope. I thought you were an elf. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna inspiration that. <laughs> Ooh. I, I'll use my sleepy dice. Maybe. Sleepy. Yippee. Yippee dice. Yippee dice, roll. Oh! oh. oh. Well, <laughs> I like that he like rolled off the table onto the 20. Yes. <laughs> but I'll yeah, accept it. it. <laughs> yeah, if you roll off the table, they're, they're disqualified. But he was technically <laughs> still touching it. <laughs> so... Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Sleepy Dice. Add that to your counter. Yes, I will, as soon as I remember, um... Can I... Sorry, I... Uh... For the reaction there, do I only get an attack? Or could I also use a blood curse? That's 27 damage. Your blood curse... Uh... It if it's action. normally an action... Okay, no, you can't use it as a reaction. Okay. The 27! 27. 27. Sneak attack. Holy crap. Rogue. 24 hits. Fourteen damage. Wow. Okay. Uh, both of you strike on the werewolf's back. Uh, you 
you end up cutting off large chunks of his skin, of his fur, of the box on his back. Um, he leaves a trail of blood as he continues forward. Uh, hardly any energy left in him. Straight for Tekka. Uh, almost trips over the panther. It seems like he, he uh, just really struggled to lift his legs over the large body of the feline that just lies there in the middle of the kitchen. Uh, the werewolf makes eye contact with you, Tekka. Uh, down at the amulet you're holding. Uh, he grunts something. He's actually struggling to speak. Uh, and, like, he he needs to repeat himself to actually push the words through out of his mouth. Uh, as he says, Back. Give it back. He tries to bite you. Can I uh, do another blood curse on him as a reaction? No, I can't. I just use my reaction. You did just use your reaction. It is a 22 to hit Tekka. It is. Uh, that's on a bite, I said. Okay. It's 14 points of uh, piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Claw <laughs> attack. Is a 17 to hit? Does not hit. It's not? Oh. Have hit. <laughs> Same. Are you sure it doesn't hit? <laughs> okay. Um, mm, yeah, he no longer has a bonus action. My gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so essentially, um, the two of you are like, um, mm -mm -mm -mm. man, today words just escape me. Uh, I'm trying very hard. You're, you're in a scuffle. Uh, he is uh, biting at your arm, clawing at your arm, just trying to get this thing out of your grip. Uh, and you're holding on to it like your life depends on it. Uh, <clears throat> You're both of you just exhausted, uh, having bled out so much. You're in this strange version of the world that you know, Tekka, uh, and you don't really know the consequences of what would happen if you were to die here, but you have to hold on. So you hold on. Bip. Everyone is gone? Um, yeah. Squeak. Is now keeping you company, uh, but you he he appears next to you. You've been following the uh, the unfolding scene through the gem. Uh, you see Tekka cornered by the werewolf, both of them uh, at an inch away from death. Okay, and Tekka's body is like over here somewhere. Where did where did you say it was? <sighs> I kind of don't recall don't where Tekka was. Yeah, let's say it's over there. Why not? Okay. Uh, then in that case, Pip, watching all of this unfold through the gym, is going to step over here. And if it works, we'll speak to Brooke telepathically through the, the hair. It works. And, and say, Brooke, tell Tekka to pinch himself now. We can get we can get the werewolf. Okay. Do I have to wait till on my turn? You can speak immediately. Oh. Take our pinch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Actually brings up an interesting point, doesn't it? Will oh, he keep God. the necklace if he wakes himself? I don't know. <laughs> or will yeah. it just go like, bloop? <laughs> um, well, you guys have held on to your equipment, uh, with the exception of Virion, who seems to be following distinctly different rules from the rest of you. Uh, but whether how the amulet works, you're not really sure. All you have been able to, to figure out with your previous check, Pip, is that the, uh, the swords of the magic of the amulet is 
right. the same as the source of yours, and uh, uh, you know of Granny's connection to dreams, so it's uh, it's entirely up in the air what would happen. Okay. Pip's just taking a guess. <laughs> okay. What is he doing as an action? Uh, nothing, because I'm pretty sure if I hold a spell and don't use it, it still uses the slot, right? That's correct. And I can't risk that, because I'm a warlock, <laughs> and I only get two <laughs> of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah. This one is gone. Who killed it? Oh, it was a panther, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Hey, Brooke, you can have the trophy. <laughs> 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 Um, Rook's turn. Oh, I put it mm. in the chest. Hmm. I think he will take the two attacks. Just to make sure this heavy hard run over. <clears throat> okay, do they both have... I'm pretty sure they both have their reaction. They should. So, uh, number two. That's a 14 to hit. Nope. Number three is a uh, 25 to hit. Yeah. Ten points of slashing damage. Oh, oh, okay. Watching Discord. Okay, can I in the meantime try to hit? The werewolf? Yes. Oh. I don't know why, but for me it doesn't put the 8 in the number oh. field. Oh! Are you... Oh! See if he's... <laughs> okay, it's a crit. Now, before you roll your damage, the effect from your blood right will not work. So don't roll the radiant damage. The d6? Okay. Just your normal weapon damage. And your Twice. weapon... Yeah, uh, yeah, because it's a crit. Your weapon no longer counts as magical. Okay. Oh, fuck! Alright. <laughs> What's going on? 4 plus 2, and then plus 7. Okay, so which makes it 13, which is non-magical, means it's resisted, down to 6. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Um, and as you, as you're attempting to cut down the werewolf once and for all, and your weapon, you swing it from above, and it feels a little heavier? You look down at your own form, and uh, your hands are becoming a little bit see-through. From Pip's perspective, you're slowly beginning to shift back uh, into the, uh, the waking realm. Uh, okay. You're not gone yet, though, but it's like you're just sort of fading. Uh, your weapon is no longer glowing, and you yourself feel weaker. That's heartbreaking. I do have a second attack, so right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. 17 plus 8. Mm, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, that's 6 again. Alright. 
uh, you're pretty much hacking the werewolf's body. Um, every blow, it, it's almost surprising just how how much uh, beating this man can take without going down. Um, do you have anything else? Uh, no. Hey, is that the end of your turn? Okay. I think so that's that the end of my turn. brings us to uh, this one. Uh, let's see. They have been fighting Virion most of the fight. Uh, um, so, why not? He just climbs onto this uh, upward. Or what is it? It's, uh, high ground. The wine holder thingy. <laughs> Virion has the <laughs> high ground. Um, let's see. First attack. It's a 24 to hit. Yes. For 13 points of slashing damage. Second attack is a 17 to hit. Misses. The third attack is an 8. Misses. Okay. Nui will call Tekka's name one more time. Heal five points of damage. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Viren, it's back to you. Okay, we're going to risky move and also take the hit as she just charges. Okay. Mm -mm. 15 to hit. No, no, misses. She's going to move there, and as she... Pip Pips is charges... moving through, through him. Yeah. Uh, you have no Whoa. idea. I mean, you <laughs> see him, but like he feels like nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and as she does, she's just going to call it to Tekka of... Stay strong, keep fighting. And we'll use her Warlord's Favor on him, and you recover 9 hit points and have 9 temporary hit points. Whoa! Nice. And Ben is going to attack the werewolf. Okay. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job. Good job. Show him. Take attack. 24. Hey, 24. How would you like to do this? Um, so as Virian like calls out to Tekka, she sort of um, dodges around Brooke and just roll dodge and just like up from underneath Rapier just right up through like his back. Just finds like a weak point, like probably like, under the arm and just straight up through something important under there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tekka sees the, the blade coming out from the chest. Of the werewolf, inches away from his own face. And everything for a moment is quiet and, and still. The werewolf spits out blood and crumbles on his knees. You pull out your weapon and you're about to strike him again. Just make really sure that he's dead. And on the second swing, the werewolf is gone. Not back in the world of the waking. Pip doesn't see him there. He disappears, in, leaving behind just this faint trail of green smoke for just a moment, and it disperses quickly. He tries to say something, but he's immediately just cut off. You're out of initiative. Wait, no, you're not. Uh, no, they are. They're yeah. gone. These guys are gone. They're gone with him. They don't get to stick around. Sorry, guys. Yeah. They are sad. Ah. Oh, epic. I think while I realize that I'm about to disappear on whatever spell I just used, 
I look around the others and then to the panther and be like, heal her. And go around and I'm assuming that by then the six seconds are over and I'm back in the real world. How many turns has it been since you entered the... This was the second one. This was the second one? Okay, you're not quite gone yet. Woo! It's like a slow fading out kind of thing. Oh. I don't... I don't think there's anything Virian can do, but I don't think she's going to not try. I think she'll look to... Nui, because she's obviously a healer of some sort, and just like kind of pantomime, like, can can you help? You gesture frantically <clears throat> at yeah. the panther. Um, she just shakes her head. Rook, um, she's gone. I'm sorry. Beyond. Healing. I guess he just takes his hand and strokes over the head till he disappears. You fade back into the version of the kitchen you're more familiar with. Instead of the body of the panther, there's just the broken bits of the table. And something within you is gone. And on that note, that's where we'll take a break. What? The heck, Winter? That went from so cool to so bad! <laughs> <laughs> you monster. All right, I'll see you we in 10 minutes. Yeah, we're going to take a walk. We're going to take a walk. <laughs> All right, I'll be okay. right back. See you in 10. Yay. 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 I'm chuckling. I am. Why? <laughs> he's what? he's cracking me up in private, in private messages. <laughs> <laughs> I do such thing. <laughs> okay, so let me put this away where I don't risk spilling tea all over my setup. Marvelous. Right over here. Uh, make sure that the stream is back. Mm hmm. Okay. Here we are. Perfect. So. Brooke, for a few seconds, for however little time your magic has left you with, you hold onto the panther, onto her remains. As um, you feel yourself fading from the world of uh, dreams, uh, you, you think back on uh, those few revelations you've had somewhat recently, this newfound understanding of uh, your own situation and of this creature you have seen once in a different dream. And as she dies to protect you and your companions, you are left alone one more time. For the rest of you, uh, here in this corner, Pip is uh, awake and is with Brooke. Uh, so that lives Virion and Tekka and Nui. Um, what are you doing? Still in the dream world, or? Mm hmm. I think Tekka is like slamming the pendant in his hand against the against the floor in frustration. Are you trying to break it? Mm. 
Yeah, but I don't think it's working. It's mostly just out of frustration, not with any purpose. It's just like venting, essentially. Right. Okay. If you're not heading, like, if you're not specifically trying to break the third gemstone, then yeah, it's just a frustrated kind of kind of gesture that uh, bends it a little bit. The wood that it's made of uh, bends it out of shape. One, uh, the broken gem, the pieces would actually just straight up fall out of it, and they they hit the floor and. They're too small to even see where they've gone. Ah, he was right there. The werewolf was right there and he was holding you uh, against the wall and he was about to get it back and Virion got him and... It doesn't feel like Virion did get him. No matter what happened here, you, you saved me. I won't forget that. Of course I am. Um, before I don't leave people behind. Not if I can help it. I think she like looks over to the dead panther and just is I can't be everywhere at once though. Did what I could. <sighs> I, I know you're not all right, but are you all right? <sighs> that this was not the, the first time I've seen that panther. That panther means a lot. I gathered just from the tone in his voice. Not people don't sound like that often, and when they do, it's, you don't forget it. You should. You should go. Uh, they might need help on the other side. I. I don't know how I'm getting back, but I'm sure, uh, she'll just kind of look over at Nui. I'm sure she's got it sorted out. <clears throat> yeah, you have, you have noticed before, although in the middle of combat you didn't really stop to ponder over it, but your companions had left their sleeping bodies behind, but you and Nui didn't. So mm -hmm. even though you didn't really have time to, like, process it, and now that the battle is over and you're catching your breath, uh, you figure... Something different has happened with the two of you. You know you can't sleep, but the only conclusion you can logically make is that she physically took you here. Although, you do look different. Uh, you make eye contact with her, and she is just slowly looking between the two of you, not knowing what has been discussed, but she did hear her name, so she perks up of that. Oh, okay, let's see, um... You, you can only speak to her with the book, right? That's not... That's, that's right. And, yeah, Tekka, like, still slumped against the wall, is going to slide Orm towards you. Here. It will be more useful to you. Uh, thank you. Um, if you... Um, it looks like you can maybe wake yourself up. They might... If not... For safety, just companionship right now. Um, we'll, we'll get it sorted out here, and hopefully I'll be back soon. If not, stranger things have happened. Are you ready and to I go, think, Tekka? Uh, yeah, I think Tekka will just take a breather. <clears throat> Like, take in just the scene around him, and then eventually, yeah, he'll pinch himself. Mm -hmm. Pip told you to pinch yourself, and um, the, the idea of uh, pain waking someone up from their dreams, it's, uh, um, it's something that you know of, but you've been bitten and clawed and uh, slashed at a bunch during this fight. Uh, none of that woke you up. 
Um, when you paint yourself, you have this understanding that perhaps the uh, the Plornan in particular, but in your group, wouldn't really have, which is that it's less about pain and more about intent. And the gesture just helps your mind anchor that feeling, that idea that, that it's time to go. Uh, and you awaken behind the Brook who is still down on his knees. As for Viren and Dunui, Viren, you're holding the book open. I need to change the color. Yeah. Um, as soon as you open up the, the book, uh, Nui uh, speaks and says, You... We did what we could, all of us. Yeah. It could have been much worse. I don't know what you said earlier, but um, uh, thank you as well. You did bolster me a bit. just in general, and she'll motion to the panther. Uh, don't worry about me too much. I've survived worse. Back to sleep. I, not sure I understand. Wait. Nui gestures at the ghostly figures of your companions in the waking world. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, we can talk more about this situation with I'll have questions about this dream thing for you later, but for now, I think they need. But this can wait till later. She, she nods, and uh, much like uh, uh, earlier, she takes a deep breath and begins to sing. Her singing did not affect you earlier; it affected all of your companions. Right now, puts you to sleep. You feel your consciousness leaving you, and you open your eyes. And you're standing exactly in the same spot, but your equipment looks normal, your armor is back on you. That feeling of being lighter is gone. Everything seems normal. Just not entirely sure what happened. Nui appears with you. From the perspective of everybody else, you two just popped out into existence. So, uh, while Viren and Nui and Tekka for a bit were talking, what about Brook and Pip? I okay. think. Brooke would just sit there when he comes back. Ip doesn't say anything, but is wordlessly moving around Brooke and is 
looking for fur or blood that the wolf may have left behind from uh, when he appeared in the real world for that brief time. Uh, blood would be easy to find without question, but just roll a survival check. Oh. Natural 20. Not only is blood, uh, um, like, <laughs> uh, plentiful, but, like, you're able to tell, uh, to tell like, you, you have good recollection of uh, which splatter is the werewolf, specifically. Oh, good. Um, I do forensics and... <laughs> while I gather blood. <laughs> it's, more, it's more about just remembering, uh, like, the, <laughs> the order of events, where everybody was standing, um, and you're pretty confident. Uh, that you remember correctly, and yes, there is fur. Not a whole lot, but it's white. You spot it over the darker cabinets, and uh, it can be no one else's. It is collecting as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, and he sits next to Brooke. His face just sort of still contorted in anger. And he pulls out his cloth doll and starts um, just attaching. Well, really, he's going to just drag the doll around in the blood. <laughs> just smear it across the floor in the yeah. blood. And over it's the a... course of ten minutes, it starts to appear like the werewolf. It's the same gesture you would do if you had a if you had a rag and you were trying to clean it up, but instead you're just yeah. mirroring it around. It's going everywhere, and this doll is slowly taking on this red color. Tekka wakes up to this scene of, of Pip just smearing the blood further around the kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not finished with him. You want to bring his rage back here? No, I want to bring my rage to him. And what good will that do? Stop him from hurting any of us again. And then what? Cycle ends with him. I don't know your magic. He was I using my magic. If you're so certain, I won't stop you. Just tell me you know what you're doing. Telling him. Uh, Tekka's going to take a glance at his hand. And sh yeah, is the pendant still there? Yes. Is with you. Oh. This is also the moment when Virun and Nui appear in the room. <sighs> Brooke started breaking this. Sh should we finish what he started? Is Tekka talking to uh, anyone? Yeah, to the room.
yeah, if, if no one replies, then Tekka will just like drop it to the ground and like prepare his quarter staff to just strike the gem. Wait. Let me look at it more. Okay, be careful. Is Brooke still just kind of being catatonic right now, just kind of sitting there? Yeah, basically. Okay, so I think once Virian comes back and kind of reads the room a, a little bit, just to kind of figure out what's going on, she just goes and she sits down next to Brooke. And she's quiet for a bit, and then... She takes off her her gauntlet, she takes off her gloves, and she takes off a ring off her left hand, and it takes her a bit to get it off, and she just kind of shows it to Brooke, kind of offering it to him, and just says, You don't have to talk now. When you want to, talk to me. I understand. He looks up at her, looks down at the ring, nods and takes it. Just make sure I get that back, but just, if you need a reminder to, for when you're ready. I think and he looks back up to her I tried everything here and it still wasn't enough Sometimes it just isn't. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. He shakes his head. Thank I'm you. Not gonna, of course, I'm not going to lie to you. It really never goes away. But it does get easier. We'll see about that. What time of the day is it? Actually, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> but I think Brooke will stand up. I will probably go for a walk. I won't go too far. Stay on guard, I think. He'll be back. He'll be angry, but I think for now we have a little time to breathe. I won't go far. And he stands up. And either goes out the door or goes down the stairs, the stairway, mm -hmm. and then out the door. Yeah. And you won't go too far, probably just after a few trees, sit back down, and sink there a bit. Okay. Brooke leaves. Not really knowing what else to do, Virian starts cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> Straight 
dress clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Okay. Um, the table has been... Actually, that was in a dream world. Nope, mm -hmm. the table is gone. <laughs> it's gone? I destroyed it into pieces. <laughs> huh, so if you destroy tables in the dream world, you do destroy them in real life. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> How, how uh, do you so feel about sitting a... on the floor to eat? <laughs> 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 there isn't a whole lot you can do to fix the table, but you're starting to like pick up the pieces and you figure they'll make for good firewood. Clean up, making sure that there won't be like wooden splinters everywhere. Tape is barefoot, so you're worried about that. Pip, Deca? Uh, Pip's just waiting for the effigy to be done. Okay. Anything from Deca? Uh, I mean, Deca was still planning to wreck this pendant when Pip said stop, and... Oh, know. right. <laughs> we... I'll get okay. to it. <laughs> yeah, well, we can get to the effigy being completed. Mm -hmm. Um, the effigy at this point, Pip has been working on it, like sewing things to it, and magically it starts changing its appearance to look like the Krelko in his non-werewolf form. Um, and Pip just like, still this rage on his face, takes his dagger and just starts, just starts slamming it into the doll over and over again. Okay. What does that do? Uh, the Krelko, no matter where he is in, in the world right now, mm -hmm. is going to start taking some psychic damage. Okay. One. <laughs> Two. Two. With, with each uh, hit of the dagger into the doll, um, magic being expended into the ether. Four. Okay. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. With that final hit onto the doll, it's just shredded at this point, and the blood at this point burns away off of the doll with a green flame. And Pip just sort of collapses his... his hands on the ground on either side of the doll, just shaking. That's 30 psychic damage. Okay. It is noted. It just wipes a, a tear, blood on his hands, and just says, I hope that was enough. No more fighting today. Where's the professor? 
haven't quite figured that one out. I'm feeling pretty good, uh, all things considered. I can start taking a look around if you two still need to unwind, uh, decompress a little bit. I can't have gone too far. Yeah. I, I will check the rest of the tower. I, I need to keep keep myself busy. Pip, decide what you want to do with this gem. By the time I'm back, I'm going to write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> <laughs> it picks up his his paper and and writing supplies <laughs> <laughs> from where the table had collapsed and is just gonna sit in the corner and just angrily write a letter <laughs> okay and uh, uh Teka you're searching for Pontifex and so so is Virian? yes uh, mm -hmm. I think before Virian leaves the room, she's just going to go over to Squeak and just kind of lean down and keep an eye on him, will you? He's uh, going through a lot. Oh. Pip. Oh. I literally <laughs> have no choice. <laughs> I mean, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Pip, listen, I know you put on a hard face. I won't tell anyone. What? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I know your <laughs> dirty little secret too, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> she like pat him I, I, on the shoulder, but it's very small, so ah. very small pat. Ah. And then she'll go search <laughs> or help search. So both Tech and Virion may roll um, either an investigation or survival check. Alrighty. I'm good at these. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Five. Okay. Uh, let's see. Between the two of you, um, Virion would find, uh, um, nothing in the sense that uh, she doesn't find uh, Pontifex's belongings everywhere. His backpack... Uh, all his staff, all, all the things that he usually has with him. Um, all of that is gone. Uh, no signs of anything having been left behind, anything that belonged to him. Not the... Um, not the, the leaf that he uses to bring this tower into existence in the first place. Not that small round strange item that he uses to cast spells with uh, not the one that he recently traded uh, from from Glimmer as for Tekka uh, he'd still find traces of water in the bathtub uh, that still hasn't quite dried up yet uh, and some droplets here and there in the bathroom indicating that at some point uh, uh, after sleeping in the bathtub like he always does he must have walked around a little bit but it's been long enough where that doesn't really like leave any any trail that he can follow or doesn't really give him any indication as to what might have happened That's I have a very important question. That? Yeah? Is the Tresum here? Or is the Tresum gone? The Tresum is not here. Okay. Even took the cat. Okay. 
he wouldn't leave us without leaving some message. I mean, it's certainly strange. You know him better than I do. Granted, he hasn't been exactly forthcoming with me, but it does not strike me as a type to go off on his own. Not unannounced. He seems to like a, make a big deal of what he's doing, usually. Not the quiet sort. No. Definitely not. So to me, it seems not his choice that he is not here. No, it's certainly unusual. I mean... Wither. Um, yeah, uh, that's me. If, yes, since, okay, Virian doesn't sleep. So just okay. thinking back, like, overnight, potential that she might have, like, heard, like, sounds that she might have, like, brushed off as, like, someone just being up late that might have been, like, somebody moving around or leaving. Mm hmm. Like, um, she remembers uh, some shuffling around the, the tower at some point. Uh, movement in the bathroom that she, uh, that she either believed to be Pontifex or somebody going to, to the restroom. Um, but she, she didn't have an eye on everybody all at once because everybody oh, yeah, was kind of yeah. sleeping in their own places. Um, when the night went by, um, she didn't hear things that seemed were out of place, nothing that she would have thought, had. Ah, that's, that's unusual. But it was certainly yeah. some movement. Like, probably, like, sound like he might have been up late, but... Mm -hmm. At some point, somebody nothing. went up or down the, the ladder between the trapdoors. Yeah. Like, not like a scuffle sound or anything. Like, obviously, like, a scuffle she would have remembered, but, like, potentially that somebody was up late. Basically. Just kind of shakes her head to... Sorry. No, no, continue, continue. Yeah, no, it just like sounded like somebody might have been up late, but nothing aside from that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, she can't she's... know. Like, who yeah. Knows. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And she sort of shakes her head at Pekka and... and there was someone who might have been up late last night, but that's not entirely unusual. You know, y'all have different sleeping patterns sort of gotten used to people moving around. Didn't think too much of it. I'll give you this. You haven't heard anyone open the front door. Yeah. Okay. Because that would have gotten what? your attention for sure. Yes. <laughs> Tekka checked the bathtub. Yeah. There's yeah. like traces of water, okay. but nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear anyone leave. Not through the door. I He's suppose. A... Um, I I remember I remember bringing attention to this. Somebody used the bathroom, and then Pontifex took over. Was it Brook? Was it Brook? Yeah, yeah, it was me. Yeah. It was Brook. Okay, Brook is essentially the last person to have seen Pontifex because of that. Um, and then there was that scene this morning, um, where something happened there. Before that, Brooke was the last person to have seen him in the bathroom. I can't believe this turned into a game of Clue. <laughs> <laughs> didn't hear anyone leave, but... Aside from that, it seemed normal last night. What about that spell book he was so absorbed in? Could it have been trapped in some way? It's possible. Uh, I think it... I'm sure he has it with him, but... Let me go check the last time I saw him reading it. Maybe he left it there. And we'll go specifically to any place Pontifex might have normally set up as like a workstation. Mm -hmm. 
to see if he left the grimoire there. You don't find it. Yep. The the only thing he has left behind is the ongoing chess of dra uh, game of dragon chess that he has going on with Rook. Which isn't really his like belongings. It's just always there. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, on without a trace, it seems. Hmm. Virian, could you ask yes. Nui something? Uh, I mean, I can give you the book and you can ask her, but sure. If Pontifex dreams, could we find him there? Why don't we go both ask her, because otherwise I'll be running back and forth up this ladder, and I... I if you don't forget, I am 400 years old. My knees cannot take that. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. yeah, and then Tekka will ask Nui that. You're asking her if she can find Pontifex in dreams? Yeah, if if someone is in the dream realm, if there's a means of tracking them. Hmm. Okay. So before she speaks, she shakes her head. So that already gives you an answer. But when the words appear on the book, they're not um, entirely negative. Can witches be trusted? <laughs> so I thought. I am not willing to go that far. If Pontifex is gone, it is for a reason. And we will find that out. Until then, I don't know what else there is to do than to recover and to continue. As full of hot air as he is, he can at least back it up. Mm. 
my worry is that his will is too good for his own good. But unfortunately, without any clues, any leads, trying to find him is. We'd just be running around in circles. You're right about that. So. Without n knowing our next step, I say we continue. As we are. I agree. Maybe if there's a way for us to leave a message in the area, just in case. Let him know we continued on. If he returns here, I don't know if he will or not, but at least feel better and leave trail markers. Uh, yeah, I think with that, Tekka will sort of like glance over his shoulder towards Pip. <laughs> Still writing, I imagine. And done. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you planning to do with that writing? I'll read it to you. Dear Granny, we went into the dream world and fought the werewolf and would have beat him, but he was using witch magic with a magic necklace and was called back somewhere. I think another witch is helping the werewolf. Do you know this witch? I don't like her, so if you tell us where she is, I will kill her for you. Signed, Pip. <laughs> 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 my statement says, stays. That's my 12 year old. <laughs> Pip, do not turn yourself into some assassin. Week opens up the pouch. Pip silently puts it in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You put the message in. <laughs> Right in front of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Make, maintaining eyes eye contact. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. You close the pouch and you give it a bit of a shake. Wait a few seconds and you open it back up and the letter is gone. And that's It'll it. help us. I don't think she'd want another witch messing with us. This is witch magic. He points at the necklace. So do we destroy it or not? I don't know. Maybe we could learn from it. I wish the professor was here. So do I. But without him, we still need to arrive at the decision. I think we should hold on to it for a little bit. And you're certain he won't try to come back and reclaim it sooner if it's around? I'm not good at this magic thing. I hope um, he does. I want to finish the job. I believe me, I understand that seeking retribution is consuming. It's easy. But don't let it take over entirely. You understand? He took the professor from us. He took Brooke's friend. I was going to show him mercy and just remove that werewolf curse on him. And at least maybe he could live a normal life and not be a threat to us. But he stepped too far. I mean, you guys have killed people before. We killed people in the cave. We killed people 
on the boat. What's wrong with killing someone who actually deserves it? It's not about that. It's about letting it become your only focus when the only thing you have to work towards is someone else's death. It can take over. That's all I'm warning about. It just shakes the bag again. <laughs> um, you check the pouch regularly. I will let you know when you find something in it. She's a slow writer. <laughs> <laughs> She has to write in rhymes, and I'm sure that's exhausting. <laughs> uh, as a reminder, the last time, last session, you sent a message, you got one back, you sent a second one, and you did not get a reply. Yeah, because all I said was, what? <laughs> I think this one warrants more of a response. <laughs> Don't, don't wait for it. <laughs> it's... I'm waiting. <laughs> no. <laughs> not coming While you're waiting, do you want to help me finish cleaning the kitchen? Make, uh... I'll make us something to eat. A meal helps. I know it's hard to eat after things like this, but it's good for you. Yeah, fine. Pip just uh, does some magic uh, chanting and waving of the arms and uh, some pots and pans and a burlap sack come to help clean. <laughs> I mean, you let me sweep the entire floor without doing that. I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Go, my <Huh>. minions. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Tiny servant. <laughs> oh. Oh, to help her. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, up, yeah, I'll finish clean the kitchen. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, is Brooke doing anything in particular? <clears throat> I think he would sit out there and then after a while take a stick from around him and start riding in the ground. And he basically rides down She's dead. Waits a second. And then continues with and didn't die of a potion. And as he can normally ride that, he tries to ride it again. And then... Mm -hmm. Brooke, there angrily, are some things that... Uh, there are some things you cannot speak. And some things you cannot communicate in any manner. Writing is one of them. You're used to the resistance against your hand, against your tongue. That resistance is not there anymore. I think he will just clench his fist and... It's a tree behind him. And then probably sits there. A few Considering your strength score, down. I think that tree is gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's leaning against a stump. <laughs> and just sit there for a little while more. Coming slowly. We're trying to come to terms. What time is it right now? Outside? This point perhaps around the noon. Okay. Then he'll probably make his way after a little bit back to the house or tower mm -hmm. and just sit down in front of it. Not entering yet. Okay. 
The rest of you finish cleaning up the kitchen. Nui is helping. Brooke, Brooke has been gone for hours at this point. Ah. I think we're at the point where Stone Pepper is about to cease to move. Oh, just a garbage cherry on top of a horrible day. Do <laughs> 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 uh, you still want him to be a coat hanger in the kitchen? Uh, it's what I would want. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And Stone Peep will stop moving. Third creature you've lost today. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I know before there were like there was like food in the kitchen that could be cooked is that still the case or have we gone through it mm -hmm. and that's still the case okay Virian's call... making lunch sorry oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember like what do you call in English is it coat rack yeah coat rack tall standing one mm -hmm. yeah, yeah close enough close enough there might be a yeah, there might be other words for it, but I always call it coat rack, coat I, hanger. I, I, yeah. I think like a, a coat rack is a coat rack hanger is, is the... like the hooked thing, right? I don't know. I've called them coat hangers before. I mean, that's also that's a also a clothes hanger, or maybe a coat hanger. English is bad. Mm, a coat okay. hanger is the one that stands up by itself. A coat rack is one that's attached to the wall. I'm pretty sure. I think it's okay. the other way around. Is it? Oh. Which is why which is why I said close enough. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I put we'll it on Google Images. <laughs> Kotorak seems to be at least it's bringing up the right thing. Maybe? All right. I, well, anyway, Maybe. I was just changing its name. <laughs> I'm seeing both. Uh yeah. You have finished cleaning the kitchen. You know, you only have the until late afternoon until this tower is gone, and you don't have a way of bringing it back. Oh, oh no! Baron's yeah. making a really good lunch. Mm-hmm. Rook, you can We've smell the food so from much outside. On this tower. Hi, y'all. Get your tree back. What? What did you say? Pip will get his tree back. His tree? My tree? Well, from the resting spots outside of the tower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pip just uh, gently nudges into your head, Brooke, and says, Food's almost ready. You okay? You can't talk back to me, but I'm just wondering. I can or I can't? You can't. I'm just going to keep talking and you will have to listen. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whenever you want to come inside, um, Virian's making some, some elven stuff. I don't really know what it is. It looks a little slimy. I'm not really hungry. Are you hungry? If you are, you can come in. But if not, then that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's just gonna keep talking to you. I think eventually <laughs> you'll hear the door open. <laughs> Was that you? Brooke? Brooke? Brooke, yeah. was that you? It's oh. me. <laughs> Thanks for cooking, Varian. Of course, I mean... I know people probably aren't very hungry right now, but... Before we... Leave, we should get something to eat. It will do us all good. Better to have our strength up. It does give you a hug, Brooke. He pulled some clothes. I 
I'm sorry. Me too. Do we have a plan for what we're going to do? <laughs> Viren kind of looks at Viren looks at Tekka. This is the other one to discuss this. Going. As we planned. We don't know where Pontifex is or how to find him. So we continue as we are. And look for more answers. We have to be a bit more careful. I think whatever powers I had that came from the pen from the phantoms are now gone. So I will be less of a help. We'll stay more vigilant. I think it, from now on, I mean, apparently we're not going to have this tower anymore, but uh, even once it is back, we might want to make it a habit of sleeping in the same room. I don't sleep, so I can keep an eye on things a little better, just in case. I think Brooke will nod and get a portion of the food and... Are those chairs still there? No. Maybe one oh. survived. I'll go get the, the cushions from the couch or something. And Squeak is sitting on the one remaining chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a cat. Yeah. You, you, you know what? Um, back home, this is how we eat a lot where I'm from. Uh, to pull up a cushion, you sit on the floor. Um, you get used to it. Um, I'll bring some downstairs from the couch and such. A little more comfortable than the floor. Alright, I'll wait for the cushions and then sit on them. <laughs> Start eating. Pippa's got in the habit of, like, shaking his pouch every, like, minute. <laughs> every time his expression getting just grim. <laughs> and then grim and then grim. And then, finally, as he ah! is in the middle of eating. <laughs> <laughs> Steps up on boxes. <laughs> I got something! And uh, you produce not a piece of paper but um, something a little thicker, a little a strange texture, kind of rubbery. You hold it for a few seconds before realizing that this is a rectangular piece of human skin. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did she run out of paper? <laughs> 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 you almost <laughs> drop it at the realization, but like as you fumble with it, you realize that uh, there is indeed writing in the back. Is it wet? <laughs> yeah. It's fresh. <laughs> no, not. I uh, sorry. The ink is wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the skin is uh, is otherwise like leathered. <laughs> How do I know it's human? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what does Pip seen her do? <laughs> um. Anyway, nothing related. <laughs> Pip that teeters a little pocket. bit on the, uh, <laughs> yeah, on the crates, and, and then says. 
A sister sought with intent bleak, a chilling quest neath snow-kissed peak. But ven venture not where frost winds blow, seek vengeance where ingredients grow. The ink on the skin begins to kind of like spread out. It grows out until the entire piece of skin is black and it drips between your fingers. It leaves a stain on the floor of the kitchen. The message is gone. Oh. Um. I guess she doesn't want the wrong people seeing this. So her sister did this. Her sister's awful. Your, Unless your, it's someone else's sister. Just your, says a sister. Sorry. Your, go. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of your grandmother having a sister? Have I? I know Squeak has. Squeak has. Pip hasn't. But Squeak would or would not say and anything about this. Squeak didn't tell the group that he knew the one you met. No, if I he remember didn't. correctly. Okay. Um. So he would feign ignorance. A sister, huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> I have no sisters. We're all boys. All <laughs> boys in my family. That's why they kept having kids. Yeah, they kept hoping for a daughter, and then they were like, yeah, this one's sissy enough. Why are you bringing this up? What? what? Why, why, why are you bringing this up? Me? This, yeah, seems like a weird time to mention this. I'm not talking for backstories. Well, fine. I'll just eat my food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to hear about my family. Maybe I don't hear about your <laughs> 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 oh, when is it ever time for your backstories? It's never time for my backstory. Y'all can talk about yours all you want. I'll just be over here. <laughs> Not like I'm mad or anything. Oh my god. My dad's gonna hear about this. <laughs> it seems your grandmother still wants us to find her ingredients. Yeah, of course. She needs some. For something. Which means we have no new path. And we continue as we are. I'm not an expert with rhymes or anything, but it sounds like we're going to be finding ourselves in a under some mountains in the a relatively near near future. After we find the staff, maybe we head in that general direction if we know where it is. I guess that is a question. During our journey, have we ever seen like? A mountain range on the horizon? Hmm. I'm going to double check to make sure I'm not saying anything silly, but I do believe that you have not. Mm -hmm. We've heard of a eternally snowy place. You have. Um, maybe Nui would know. Ooh. Maybe Nui would know. <laughs> 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 mm. 
Maybe Nui would know. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at a map. <laughs> I want to make sure I get this right, but I'm pretty sure. All right, where's the height map? Here it is. Okay, so this is there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take away your things. I just want to take a look real quick at... Uh... Oh, no, I can't. All right, get back here. <laughs> I I'm sort of okay not having an answer to that, by the way. Like, don't worry no, about no, it. No, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> because she has. Um, so the, the book is currently with Viren. It hasn't, like, been returned yet. Um... And uh, like that, that's kind of the moment where we realize that she still has it and she um, proceeds to open it up and um, you ask her if she knows of a snowy mountain range and uh, <clears throat> uh, ooh, how do I give directions? So she nods is the first thing, the thing that happens and all of your, your attention is focused on her. Um, Um. Hmm. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, accidentally clicked up here. Uh, okay. Well, it's a good thing we're going underneath it. <laughs> Man, this staff better be important because there's like four reasons we need to go over here. <laughs> <laughs> closer to the staff than we are to these mountains. We just finished this job while we're here and then head that way. <coughs> I mean, we can assume that the werewolf is going to come to us sooner than later anyways. Maybe. Without that necklace, he's he's a lot more v v something. Yeah. Perhaps we can find a, a place that you'll be comfortable on the way there. We can escort you that far, at the very least.
so be it then, uh, as you wish. But should it align, we can at least try to get you to safety, or safe enough, as it were. She nods at the idea. I think we only have a short amount of time left in the tower. Is there any last things to wrap up before we leave for now? Brooke, you have, um, it's your turn in the game of Dragon Chess. <laughs> Things are in some mind for Dragon Chess right now. That's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose anyway, since that would sour my opening even more. No one beats the professor. Okay, then you gather your things and you get ready to say goodbye to the tower. Say goodbye to Coat Rack Pip. No. May the next one of you be more useful. And you head out. You have spent most of the day in the tower. So you really only have about uh, four or five hours of sunlight ahead of you. Um, a short journey, but it feels like you're tired before you even set off. Uh, I'll have to make Stone Pip part of the furniture permanently, so I'm just taking it for now. Leaving the tower behind and continuing uh, to the southeast where you're, where you're headed. Uh, you are... I didn't mean to go here. <laughs> Oop. You're leaving not just the tower behind, but also Pontifex, Rockpip, and mm. someone else. Brooke, um, over the, cur the course of the day, it becomes more and more apparent to you that uh, you have been left uh, scarred from that battle. All of your powers and abilities that come from you being uh, what you are, it's all gone. There is no... Um, no dangerous beasts approach you as you travel. Um... You don't end up in any unexpected fights. The werewolf, if he still lives, does not come back. You take regular breaks uh, on this part of the journey. You tend to your wounds and you try not to push yourselves too hard. And under, I believe, Virion's suggestion, you also leave behind some, some signs. Red crumbs. Uh, Breadcrumbs, yes, for Pontifex to follow if he were to be able to track you down. Um, hold on, let me go for something. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay, that's fine. By 
by the time it's uh, up, the sun begins to set, you no longer have the tower at your disposal, and it's been a long time since you have had to sleep under the stars. At least the weather today has been clearer, and you're not forced to set up camp in the mud. Um, but you find a place that is uh, in an area that, that feels open enough where you can see far away, and uh, you begin to prepare for the night. It's been a long time uh, since I brought up this map, and I think we have a few things to change. One, this tent is no longer here, so I'll just take it. Oop. <laughs> Some things stay the same. <laughs> Citrus is gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Brooke punched all trees out of existence. <laughs> it was one punch. <laughs> all you need. It's the strength all need. of your belt, at least, is still there. And uh, yeah, just place yourselves. I don't remember whose uh, place uh, is whose, but um, Viren gets to pick somewhere to be. I think Viren would actually. Uh... Probably sit under the tree. She doesn't have a bed, but she just kind of finds something where she kind of like lean back a little bit, so this tree would do. Actually, I think the log, just so she can be a little bit closer to everyone. Okay. As you're getting as you're getting ready for the evening, uh, you're taking off your armor and the uh, brook as you're removing the bandages from around your forearm and your gloves. You can see that the tattoo of the uh, Two had uh, the two panther heads on your hand has faded. You can still kind of see it, but it's for the most part gone. <clears throat> he sighs at that and actually looks for Pip. Pip, do you have some papers and something to write? Hmm. Yeah, hold on. Scrambles down. Uh, pulls out some papers. A feather. A little bottle of ink. Alright, thank you. I'll return it to you in a little bit. And he sits down and starts writing. By the way, Windsor, general refreshing question. How does uh -huh. the post stuff work? Do I have to be in a city to go to a post office? Uh, yes. Or, oh, rip. You need, uh, you need a mailman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just go with the... Okay, anything else that you guys do during during the evening? Not doing, but I think it'd be very I'm obvious listening. that um okay. Viren would be like very like absent mindedly like fiddling with her hand where the ring was. Okay. Uh while she does so. Uh who who would have a book orm at this moment? Technically, Virian still has it, but if yeah. Tekka mm -hmm. wanted it back, she'd give it back to him. Okay. Well, whoever has it, like, Nui would point at it and yeah. ask, uh, essentially, to, to speak. No, she can't have it. Um, yeah, she can have aw. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she will 
She will sit on the log next to, to Virion. and uh, open the book and her words would appear on, on its pages. Um, Orm would proceed the translation just by letting you know how um, that he's happy he can at least do this for you guys and he's trying his best to <laughs> translate as accurately as he's capable of. Um, and, and then he begins uh, <laughs> then he begins to, um, to transcribe what Nui is saying. Um, and it's just a very short uh, question. Oh, um, no, I can, I can ask now. It wasn't anything very pressing. It was just that, um, before we, we came back, you asked if I wanted to, to go back to sleep. I'm not entirely sure what you meant by that. I mean, from my understanding of everything i just my el elves like me we just we cannot sleep we don't sleep so we are just always awake I'm still not entirely grasping. I mean, you just sort of dropped a, a life-altering world revelation on me, potentially. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> I th I'm just having trouble wrapping my head around it, is all. But I've always you know, considered this as this is awake. Everyone else is awake, and therefore we are awake. But... You say this is... We are asleep now. You and I. Nui is visibly surprised at the... Uh, um, your own reaction. And... Says some, just a very short sentence. No. It's never... Maybe to you, but not to me. I'm out of space. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Back to the top. Part of my silence on this, but 
I'm sure you understand that telling somebody that their entire everything is a dream is sort of it's a lot to take in. It's it's quite a lot to take in. But well, no, we. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, um, uh, as far as I know, I mean, I, I'm I'm over four hundred years old, and I have never gone to sleep or woken up in my life. Okay. Um, the rest of the group would hear basically just figure inside of the conversation. Um. Particularly towards the end, where she's like raising her voice, not not with anger, just like kind of like shock. I, mean, I, I, I understand that. That part is making sense. I don't do that. Because I didn't think I did. Nui seems to choose her next words very carefully and they show up on Orm's pages just kind of slowly. One by one. You're you're so you're all right. It's it's fine. It's I'm not. I'm not angry. Just don't. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mad at you. Um, just a lot of new information. Uh, things to consider, at least. Perhaps, but you know what? At this point, not the strangest thing I've encountered. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is not the strangest thing you've encountered? We oh, know. um. <laughs> so, what is? Yes, what is? I mean, so far, Moon Dragons is up there. Moon Dragons is definitely up there. Huh. Compared to what? You were raising your voice? Is everything okay? I'm... not... I'm not sure okay is a word I would use. It's not... not okay, don't get me wrong. But, um, according to Nui, um, I had no reason to doubt her insight on 
um, a situation, all things considered, but um, the reason that I and elves, others like me, cannot dream, cannot sleep, is that uh, we are already asleep, and this is my dream. Uh, not that you're not real, but this is uh, from how you were able to enter the dream realm by sleeping. I do so by this world is where I go when I sleep, but as far as I know, I was already not asleep, but when she took me to the dream world, that was me awake. Okay, dumb question. Have you ever tried falling asleep or waking up? You know, like... When we were in the dream world, all we had to do is pinch ourselves and we would go back. Like, I don't know how it works for you. Maybe you've always been told that you don't have to sleep and you never tried because of that. Believe me, I, I've tried. It's... But many days it would be very nice just to shut everything out for a few hours, but never been able to. But I'm not sure if you noticed, while you were sleeping, your your bodies were there. Mine wasn't. Tries to sink back. Hmm. But was your body... But... Hmm. Where was your real... Wait, where did you... Did, did you come to the same place we arrived at? No, right? When you entered was the that... dream? Did you... When you went with Nui into the dream world, you didn't arrive at the same place we did, right? No, she had... That... she had to bring me with her. <clears throat> huh. Well, that is weird. Surely if that was the case, one of the elves in the last, I don't know how many years would have figured that out, right? I'm not sure, I mean... As I sure you heard, I said I've... If that's the case, and I've been sleeping for over 400 years... But she said it was just an exceptionally long dream. That sounds awful. <laughs> I don't know. We've, we've done pretty well on it so far. It's caused some trouble, but... Not from our end, from other ends, but... It's just, it's just a lot to consider. I mean... As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't change much of anything. As far as what I'm doing, how I live, because if this is the case and has been the case, simply, well, it doesn't change. It's how it is. Virian, what if you are born of a dream? those items you were holding. You have some power there that we do not. Yeah, I mean, it, it... I didn't feel quite like myself when I was there. It was... lighter, almost. Um... Unrestricted, in a way. Perhaps a part of yourself is there. In the dream. Perhaps it is. Yeah, not uh, discounting the idea entirely. It's certainly... 
I mean, Nui seems incredibly confident on it. I have no reason to doubt her. She's much more an expert on dreaming than I am. Just a lot to think about. It seems we all have much to learn still. You think after 400 years I've had it, I would have it mostly figured out at least, but apparently not. <laughs> I mean, you're not the only one. That is not a known fact for you else, or for anyone besides her. All right, well, um, I think for now, at the very least, um, I won't try to wake myself up without supervision from this, because I don't know what will happen, so for now, if I am dreaming, I suppose I'll stay dreaming. Is that the end of the conversation? Are you ready for a long rest? I think so. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, very much as you had suggested in the future to all sleep in the same location. Here you are. You watch over your companions as they drift off to sleep. Um, Nui has always been on her own during the night. If it, it hates you now that you've actually never seen her asleep. Um, there, there comes a moment not uh, too long into the rest where she stands up and smiles at you, takes a step away from the campfire, and she fades away into nothingness. <laughs> Back in the tower when the werewolf was there and you were fighting him off, uh, people were hopping in and out of existence. Right now you can't see where she is gone. The only person who would have the potential to do so might be Pip. So with with Nui gone, you're just left there to think about what you had just found out and watch as Pekka's rest does not appear to be a calm one. Uh, Pekka? Mm -hmm. You're not feeling particularly well. You've been beaten to an inch of your life uh, and your wounds you, you have to you've cared for them throughout the whole day you've been changing your bandages a lot and uh, walking has been quite painful and as you're finally ready to rest up for the night you're feeling a little feverish when you can finally feel your consciousness uh, fade away you hear a voice, one that you do not recognize, uh, who says, ah, 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 not that way. And you feel yourself being yanked by an arm and pulled somewhere deep underwater. And that's where we'll end the session. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're just going um, diving. We're just going to a little swim. It's, it's a dream. <laughs> Dreams aren't real. They can't hurt you. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no! This is fine. We're all fine. Everything's fine. Winter. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> take him? Actually, no. Don't take him, minis. I'm just gonna kidnap them with the campsite. The session <laughs> was so good, but yeah. also, ah, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Alright! Well, I'm gonna let you go back to Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. <laughs>
Oh, uh, why don't you do Baldur's Escape 3? I want to do this. Uh, me too. Oh. Can we just do... The highest what about, what about second session? <laughs> <laughs> you, you Europeans don't need sleep, right? Oh. <laughs> we're all elves on this blessed day. Yes. The real elves were the friends we made along the way. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm going to let you go because it's getting getting late. Uh, but no. thank you for being here. Will I see you next uh, Sunday? Yes. I'll Mars, be here next but... Sunday, but not the Sunday after. Ooh, okay. The 27th. I'll remind me again next week. I'll try to keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you all next week then. Yes. Ending the stream now. Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.